Hey folks, don't miss your chance to shop local questions and creations at the upcoming 78th Street Studios third Friday art walk. Not this Friday, but the next Friday. Billy McKay is here. He's among the local artists and makers. He's the creator of Art by Billy the Robot. So where did you get Billy the Robot? You know what's funny is like a long time ago when Gmail first came out, everybody was trying to figure out what email address they wanted. So I just typed in a bunch of things and, and Billy the Robot wasn't taken. So I said, I'll start there. And then whatever I could find for my website. So Art by Billy the Robot just worked. You so, just created it. Yeah, I just, I just came I, up with I, it. I love 7A Street Studios too. It is a, it is a great spot. It's my favorite place. It's yeah, awesome. So it's not this Friday we're talking about, but the next Friday. Yeah, the next show the is Friday. June 21st. <clears throat> yeah. And Let's, it's free. Too. Yeah, oh, my favorite price. Yeah. Hey, these aren't free, they're beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about, these are your originals over here. Yep, I always start with an 18 by 24 canvas to do my original paintings. Uh, sometimes I'll do original paintings on these wood discs too. And then what I do is I make prints from those. So at the shows, I always sell original paintings and the prints. I like to sell a lot of stuff, so my prints are really affordable. They're 20 bucks a piece. That is for, great. For an 11 by 14. So. Uh, I do great there and I have a ball. I love it. It sounds terrific. So uh, let's talk about your originals. Uh, what do you put them on and what, what medium, that, that sort of thing? I, I normally start with <clears throat> spray paint for the background to give it a little bit of a graffiti look and then I'll... Do you ever do graffiti? I've never really been great at it, but yeah. I love working with spray paint. Bob, yeah. Bob Peck is the graffiti guy if you want to see somebody who's good at it. Yeah. But uh, what I do is I kind of merge the two styles of, of spray paint and acrylic paint. Then I spray the paintings with a, like a UV protectant to make sure that things are safe and the sun won't damage them. And then I just make prints after that. That is so true. You, you put a, a painting in the wrong spot at the house, yeah. and it'll fade over the years. They will, yeah. Yeah, I had one fade in half. Oh, man. You know, because someone was only like, it's like, it was, it was a new thing. Hey, so we, we have the original. So these are the, the prints that you could buy for what you said, like 20 bucks? 20 bucks for an 11 by 14 print. That's killing um, good. And I, I'm also doing prints on these wood discs, so I do original prints. Uh, original paintings and then the prints on those are 20 bucks too. Do you ever, so. er, anyone ever think about putting like several of these in a big frame? You know, sometimes people get creative with things. Sometimes people will email me and want me to resize my art for their projects and yeah. I'm, I'm always fine to do that. That is terrific. Yeah. Who's the guy up front? Oh, that's just, that's funny. I was at the Neotech Toy Show uh, a couple of days ago, and that was in a big giant bin of 25 cent toys, and I said, I got to get that. That's, I love robots and toys, so yeah, that's I had your to guy. grab it. You, you, you ended up loving them. It's funny how you got there, but yep. you, you ended up loving them. I'm a 10-year-old at heart. You know, I love toys and, and all that kind Very of stuff. Very tall for your age. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this, what's, the, what's going on here? Um, the wood discs, it's really... It's really interesting. My wife was doing all these projects and she decided to throw out these wood discs that she had. And I said, you know what, I want to try and turn it into something. I don't want to just recycle them. So I started painting on them and they started to sell. Um, this, this one here actually just sold this morning. I call this one the skull farmer. Yeah. I've pictured like a farmer, uh, you know how they grow giant pumpkins. Yeah. I figured maybe this guy is growing giant skulls or something. You know, I try and get weird with it, you know. I, I love that. Thanks. What's the story on this one? Uh, this this one right here. Yeah. This this one is called Sweet Dreams. This was an old painting that I didn't like that was full of candy, and I decided to come in and do another painting on top of it, and I left a little piece of this candy corn showing underneath it, so that's why I call it that. Sometimes I'll repurpose paintings I don't like and try and turn them into something else. You do know? people fall in love with your stories about your paintings sometimes before they buy the painting? You know, sometimes people just love to come and look at my stuff, and they don't always buy, and that's still a thrill for me because I love how people have a relationship with the art and uh, how they just look at it, talk about it. I love that. What's this one right here? Oh, uh, oh, oh, it left. Yeah. Oh, this one here. Yeah. yeah. That's a really strange one that I didn't think anybody would ever like. I just decided to do this melting pizza and all these skulls and things like that. And it started to sell. And sometimes the stuff I never think people will like, they end up liking, which is, which is really fun for me. You know? Yeah. I mean, you're stimulated by some, some outside force. And I guess that painting does the same thing to that person that sees it. All from the 80s, you know, when I was a kid in the 80s, toys were big. All our cold cereal had toys inside. Our Cracker Jacks had real toys inside yeah. when you'd open them. And I just carried that all through my life as just being a kid at heart. You do any SpongeBob SquarePants stuff? I love SpongeBob. I, I haven't, I haven't painted him yet, though. No. Yeah. It'd look pretty good, wouldn't it? Is there one we haven't seen yet? What's way, what's way out on the end? Let me take a peek there. Uh, that one is just a weird dystopian future of skulls and robots. And that original actually sold. Somebody liked it. I didn't know if they would, but 
it, if I can get strains with the painting, that's that's when I have the most fun. Hey, let's with. talk about it real quick. Seventy eight studios. We, we get that uh, walkthrough not this uh, weekend, but the next is Saturday. That's right. It's a Saturday. Can people? No, no, Friday. Oh, Friday, Friday. Friday. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's right there on the screen. Yeah. Are there other times people can visit your studio? Actually, I don't have a studio there. I'm one of the pop up artists, but I'm there every month. If you want to go to an awesome studio, hit the 112 studio in room 112. Um, that's uh, actually Rich and Billy and Christina with guest artist Bob Peck. They have an awesome show right now called Don't Panic. It's an interactive show where you could win a free painting, and their art is amazing. You got to see it. And it's free. How about a round so. of applause for Mossman Praises? Free. Free stuff love that. is good. Yes. Yeah. Love your stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, I it is it. great. Well,